Okay, everybody, how are you? It's me again. I got something a little different. Bought this on Amazon. It's a uh, motorcycle USB charger. Comes with 3.0. That's the one right there. And it comes with the C uh, uh, standard, too. So 3.0 and the C USB. Uh, so I took my battery cover off. And I'm going to undo my battery terminal terminals because I think you have to. From what I've read, you're going to have to hook it up right to the to the battery terminal. So that's my plan anyway. See, hook it right up to the battery terminals, and it comes with an inline fuse, which is right there, and uh, snake it around. I'm going to put it. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to put it way over here on uh, one of my down tubes. Actually, no, I take that back. It's going to be, yeah, it'll, it'll be just the start of my down tube because it comes with this rubber cover that I definitely want to have on top of it. So uh, I figured that's going to be the best spot. I was thinking about the handlebar, but nah, I want it kind of out of the way. So there's enough cord. So that's where it's going to go. It's over here. But not there quite yet. I have to undo my battery terminals and hook this part up. Uh, you know, red to, po red to positive, black to negative sort of thing. It comes with a couple of different, uh, this attachment here. So, and then it comes with the main attachment. So, we're going to see if it works. I tried hooking it up to what I thought was my battery tender, but I'm not sure my battery tender is hooked up. This is my battery tender, so I thought. But it's it goes in in there somewhere, and I can't see where it comes out or where it's connecting to anything, so I don't know what to say about that. I would have thought that I would have seen it connected to the battery terminal itself, but maybe it's hooked into a modular that I can't see. Anyway, uh, let me pause you and get the uh, get this one get this part installed. On, on the battery terminals so sit tight all right I got it connected don't really like how I have it situated but I almost have no choice because if I ever have to change out the uh, fuse I would much rather have it underneath this frame but the seat is not going to be sitting on on top of the wire the seat is you know this the seat's not sitting right on top of the frame. It's got those uh, hard rubber, so it's going to be. It's not going to be sitting right on top here. So here, um, this reads the voltage of the battery. So I'm at 13 volts. So that's pretty good. So uh, I'm happy with that. And like I said, it's got the uh, USB 3.0 and the USB C. Uh, I didn't plug my phone in yet, but I could do that. Um, I'm going to, now the key isn't even on, you know, the key is off, the ignition's off, key's off, everything's off, but I'm drawing power right from the battery. So I heard a lot of times you got to make sure that this is turned off, because if it's left on, you're drawing power from the battery, and it's going to eventually, eventually drain your battery. So that's another reason why I wanted to put it over here, uh, because... I can I can only use it I'll only use it when I need to and I'm hoping to uh, be real careful that I'm not I don't leave it on since the power is all you know I'm drawing right from the battery it's not like it's coming from anywhere else uh, like after the ignition where the ignition is turned off or on so it's in now I just have to figure out if I like this uh, it doesn't give you it would have been nice to have a little bit of a longer lead past the uh, fuse but I don't know if you can see it real good yeah see it's, it gives you a real short wire after the fuse and if I were to try to tuck that underneath this part of the frame um, and then I would ever need to I would have to undo the positive side to the terminal to get to this I would think because it's yeah anyway that's uh, I'm trying to talk myself into it, and uh, I think I'm I think I'm there. I think I'm going to be all right with it. I'll, I'll I'll put some I'll figure it out how I want to dress it up. Maybe I might want to do something like this uh, with a couple of uh, 
zip ties, you know, neaten it up. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is turn this off. Put the boot back on it, right? Now the way this thing slides on, let me give you a real quickie on how this thing slides on the back. It's got, I, I put half of it together uh, yesterday and I discovered that um, my uh, battery tender wasn't wasn't prop, wasn't working properly, and I'm not quite sure why yet. Anyway, this came with a little rubber uh, um, tape, piece of tape for to soften this close against, like if you go up to uh, your handlebar. So what I'm gonna what this does is just slides in here. Comes with a little nut and uh, here it is. You heard you heard this thing comes with this and a little nut on the other end, which is a keyway slides in here so let me uh, pause you and I'll put that up real quick hold on all right make a little progress I decided to uh, change up the wire put it underneath this part of the frame rail and uh, reconnect my ground because the wire has to be it's gonna have to be run close to the gas tank in fact it's, it's too short to run the way I wanted it to run originally so I'm gonna have to run it up here and stuck it up to the gas tank as best I can. So that's where we are right now. All right. Uh, you know, on, online it says easy install. Yeah, well, not so much. So uh, yeah, but we're we're getting there. It works. That's what I'm happy about. We'll uh, we'll get everything cinched down. I found some good zip ties. Um, Next time I think of it, I'm going to get some black zip ties. I, I had some, but I don't, I, you know, you can never find something when you need it, right? So, all right. We're back in progress. Hold on. Okay, I kind of got it where I want it. I'm going to put some, uh, a few zip ties in. And uh, I got to put the fuse back in. because I, I took the fuse out because I didn't want to accidentally touch something and have the fuse blow. So, uh. But yeah, I have it. Um, I need to really make sure that there's not going to touch anything with road shock and anything like that. It's not going to touch any hot engine parts. So that's where the that's where the zip ties come in. All right, so we're making progress. Yes, we are. All right, just a little bit of a better view. Uh, put a zip tie here. Um, hold on a sec. Back. Okay, change of view so I can see what I'm pointing to. Put a zip tie here, ran it in between here, up in here, under the, um, I don't know what's this called, a pitcock or something for the gas. I need to find a fastening point. I don't know what I'm, which I'm gonna do, if it's under or over this, but I, I need to, I think I'm gonna try to get a zip tie right in there, bring it back down here. And uh, if I can get it tight and then tight down here so there's not, not, no slack, potentially any slack, I think I'm going to be all right because I don't even want to try to take this gas tank off or mess with that. No, not yet. She's too new, too purdy for that. So we're going to do the best we can. And of course, there's a bunch of slack. I'll, I'll uh, zip tie that and uh, maybe tuck it. There's a nice spot right in here. I think I'll tuck it right in there. And that's where we're at. Uh, like I said, I reran the uh, the fuse underneath this part of the frame rail, uh, so we got that going for us. No fuse in yet. I took the fuse out. All right, sit tight. Let me uh, let me get some more. I want. I'd like to get this buttoned up, get it all finished up. So hold on a sec. Okay, almost there. Zip tie here. Got a nice big zip tie here. There's no slack whatsoever in between that zip tie and the zip tie down here. I put a nice zip tie here. I put a zip tie on the frame rail to tuck this under uh, to get this nice and neat. Now I'm just going to, I put the fuse back in. Um, Got to make this connection right there. Tuck this back in here and uh, put everything back together and check it out. So almost done. Hold on. All right, check it out. She's all zip tied up, and uh, gonna come on hit the hit the button. Boom. 
13 volts on the battery. That's pretty good. She's all tucked up. Got to put the seat on and put the battery cover back on. And uh, we are calling it done. I used, um, let's see, I used, here are my zip ties I used. I used three, two big ones. Uh, oh, I take that back. That might have been a big one too. Three big ones and, and no, wait a minute. I thought I used, yeah, all right, two two big ones and two small ones. So I'm going to have to find some more of those because I was nitpicking through everything, trying to find some, and uh, here's what I have left. So not a whole lot. All right, I think I'm going to end this because it works. All I have to do is button it back up, put the seat on, put the put the battery uh, box back on. Other than that, she works. Make sure, you got to make sure that you turn this thing off. Otherwise, it'll drain your battery, all right? So I think it's in a good spot. Here, let me let me put you on. Let me sit. I'm sitting down. Let me get up and I'll show you what it looks like from on top. All right, here's what she looks like from from up high. You can't you can hardly see her. She's right here. All right, flip this up. Turn it on. Now you won't be able to see. There's no light uh, on the top part of it. The only light is the the voltage, digital voltage, and my voltage just dropped. It's now at uh, 12.9. <laughs> <laughs> so. There's no, it would be nice if there was a little tiny dot light, like a little LED up there to remind you that it's on. So that's just going to be one more thing to check and make sure. But um, there she sits. She's off, turned off, and it's all looking good. The battery compartment, uh, you know, I ran it underneath here, like I said, so it's all neat, neat and squared away. All right, I'll leave you with that shot right there. Okay, more to come. Thanks for watching.